traditional roles for women in the 1940s in British Columbia were that of wife and mother. On today's episode of This Week in History, Stacey Ross introduces us to Josephine Hart. In addition to being a wife and mother, she was also a respected marine biologist, iconic in the data that she collected and published and that is preserved at the Royal BC Museum. Babs, Mrs. Clifford Carl, Dr. Josephine Hart. This remarkable wife, mother, and marine biologist used many names. I would have loved to have had dinner with her. She was doing things that most women weren't doing. In addition to raising a family, she had a career. She pursued a career, her love, her passion for marine biology. Josephine Hart was married to Clifford Carl, director of the Royal BC Museum in the 1940s, and her legacy remains vital even today. After many, many, many years of study, she compiled all of her information and produced and published a book called Crabs and Their Relatives of British Columbia, which I still use today, which is an amazing, extraordinary book. It has beautiful illustrations, just very, very detailed descriptions. The formal description is the final step in establishing a new species. Three discovered by Josephine Hart are right here. Described and formally published in a paper in early October 1971. These two were named after other researchers, colleagues of hers. After a specimen is collected, it can sometimes take decades before it officially becomes a species. Many people seem to think that when we're out in the field, we, we're going out, we're collecting and we find species and we have these eureka moments where we're just like, oh, it's a new species, <laughs> when in fact that's not typically how it happens. That's what happened with this little guy, which Hart describes in her book, but never names. In 1996, two of her colleagues from Washington State did finally get around to naming it, and they named it in her honor. So the species name is Harte, and the common name is Brilliant Hermit, which I just love. And it's named Brilliant because it has a beautiful, brilliant coloration, but I like to think of her as brilliant. The brilliant hermit crab and other unique and extraordinary specimens are kept in the type collection. These are the specimens that define this species. Not valuable to the average person, but a veritable treasure chest for scientists and researchers, preserving some of BC's most precious and interesting creatures. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.